Assalamu alaikum sir welcome to our presentation thank you sir for giving me the opportunity hello sir hello everyone my name is janatul ferdos the first presenter of the group our presentation topic is traffic light control system using d flip flop here is the group member list in our presentation before starting the presentation i would like to share our list of contents there are some parts of our presentation there are introduction idea behind the project traffic light with d flip flop necessary components clock pulse d flip flop introduction role of d flip flop d flip flop how it work get simulation result of circuit and conclusion i will discuss about introduction idea and traffic light with d flip flop first of all i will talk about the introduction we all know the use of the traffic light on the road every day let's see the traffic light technically the traffic lights are the signaling device that have an electronic circuit designed to control the flow of traffic at the road by the specialized pattern of light there are three light green for go yellow for slow down and red for stop now i will talk about the idea behind this project the idea behind this project is to avoid pollution of vehicles maintain discipline on road and for digital and then i will talk about the traffic light with d flip flop the traffic light depends on the array of three light with different color that are connected electrically the whole system is packed into a metallic structure the led turn on and off with a special pattern that depends upon a circuit the red light states list of some moment the circuit is designed so we get uh, the output from yellow color light that coordinate with the red and green light and list for some time in the in the end we get only green light Uh, all these lights are formed as a result of the sequential logic of d flip flop and at the end the output of two d flip flop are inserted into and gate the output of the green light depends upon the and gate and we found the green light uh, led only when the output of both d flip flop are high that's all of my part now my next presenter uh, nazmul hasan mamun discuss our next part to myself nazmul hasan from csc department my previous group mate have already discussed idea of this project now i am discuss about uh, clock pulse and role of dc clock in traffic light this project you need some necessary components like a clock pulse and gate a dc clock wire and traffic Now let's talk about clock pulse. The clock pulse is time verifying voltage signal applying to control the operation of flip flop and used to govern the flip flop's operation. For example, if a clock pulse has a frequency of 1 hertz, the voltage is supplied with oscillation between x and y voltage every half second. Before discuss the role of dc flip flop, first of all we need to need to know what is dc flip flop. It is for for the digital electrical circuit that delay delay the state sense of output signal q until the next rising edge of clock timing input signal the role of dc flip flop we all follow the traffic light but we, now i will discuss what does traffic light for in the traffic light we use to dc flip flop uh, that are responsible for the switching of the light in one or off condition The D flip flop is the combination of AC and R flip flop uh, with an inverter with one terminal, but for simplicity, we will use the integrated circuit of D flip flop. Here our circuit have only four components, and we get a clean, easy, and useful circuit that works automatically. The input terminals are called clock and the D and D terminal. Here output terminals are denoted by Q and Q bar. Here the truth table. When clock is zero, and then the output will not change. And then clock equals to one, and D equals to zero. The output Q Q equal to zero and Q bar equals to one. And then when both of clock and D is equals to one, then output Q and Q bar Q equals to zero, Q bar equals to zero. 
the output of d flip flop is connected with each other led in in the traffic light and hence we observe the on or off condition uh, of the traffic lights that's all for my topic uh, thank you assalamu alaikum i am isim tawfiq rashid now i am going to discuss about d flip flop and and gate a d flip flop tracks the input making transaction with mass those of the input d the d stands for data this flip flop stores the value that is one of the data line it can be thought of as a basic memory cell a d flip flop can be made from a set or reset flip flop by trying to set reset through an inverter the result may be clocked the output key will track the input d so long as the flip flop remains enabled the d flip flop tries to follow the input d but cannot make the required transition unless it is enabled by the clock note that if the clock is low when a transition in d occurs the tracking transition in q occurs at the next upward transition of the clock now i am going to discuss about the and get the and get is so named because if zero is called false and one is called true the gate acts in the same way as the logical and operator the and get will have two non fan in or inputs but only one output the function of a logical and gate effectively finds the minimum between two binary digits the logic symbol to input and get is given in the slide following illustration and table show the circuit symbol and logic combinations for an and gate the output is true when both inputs are true otherwise the output is false the output of the green light in the traffic light totally depends on and get thank you now my friend sami is they will describe more sami ya jan mojunda i am going to discuss our simulation and result of circuit simulation this is traffic lights and first of all i take the components of clock pulse and then i take the flip flop twice time so this is the flip flop one and this is the flip flop two and then i take the remaining component and gate then i connected the clock pulse with the clock of d flip flop one and then i connected the output of the output q of d flip flop one with the yellow light then i connected q bar of d flip flop two with the red light then the other output of the flip flop are connected with the and gate and the output of and gate are connected with the green light and the remaining wires are also connected how the circuit cell works basically when the clock is low the outputs are remain unchanged so the lights are also unchanged and the red light is depend on the q bar of output so the when the clock is high we get the output inverse of the d flip flop for the red light and this is having actually opposite for the yellow light so with the clock pulses the yellow light of the traffic lights turns on and the and gate is high only when both of the d flip flop terminals are high basically the and gate is connected with the green light so when the and gate is high our green light is appeared of the traffic light conclusion the result of red light is only when the output of d flip flop is low and the result of yellow light only when the output d flip flop is high and the result of green light appeared when only the output of both the d flip flops are high so basically our whole construction is depend on the deep flip thank you